So for today, we're going to be looking at the new shader that came out last week, which was Whispered Sheen. I do apologize that this video should have been out last week. So that way, pe when people see this video, they could be like, oh, shit, I'm going to go grab that shader. Hopefully, hopefully Bungie sells it again. They probably will. If not, I do apologize. This won't happen again. I promise. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if y'all can do me a favor, like the video, comment, and do, do you think because y'all have been blowing up the channel and I appreciate y'all. But again, it'd be very much helpful if you guys did that. So without further ado, let's get into it. So for this shader, we're going to be actually changing the formula because if you guys don't know, this is actually my second shader video that I've done. The first one is the Scarlet Semblance video that I made not too long ago. If you guys want to see it, I'll have it in the description and right here. But essentially, all we did for that video was just look at the shader and then immediately went to the sets. Uh, starting now, we're going to be a little bit more different. I'm actually going to be showing you what shader uh, the colors have. So specifically for whispered sheen, there's a lot of colors. So hopefully you guys appreciate the little work that I actually did. I say little, it's a, it's annoying, but I wanted to show you guys what shader the colors have, because there's a, so many colors. Uh, so we're going to be looking at the plate armor first cloth armor, then some of the main colors off colors glow. I'll have them all in, like, in the video so that way you guys can see because there's a lot of shit to this to the shader situation so the first thing you're going to notice is specifically that the plate armor has a wooden texture to it it's brown and wooden it's super cool and the application to this shader is versatile as fuck i think wooden plate armor is super cool just be aware that this color actually does have an off color and it is like a lighter brown uh, you guys can see it right here. It's such it's a, it's minor. It's super minor, but there is a difference. So just be aware of that. The funny thing, though, is that the plate armor actually has four colors to it. So you have the wooden texture, the lighter wooden texture, and then you have a gold. This gold is really, really good. I really like this gold. But then you have an off color of that gold as well, which is this really dark green. So just be aware that each plate armor pieces have a main color and an off color. The main colors would most likely be the the darker wooden texture and the gold. And then the off colors would must most likely be the lighter version of the wooden texture and this really dark green. So that's for the plate armor. Just be aware of that for the cloth. This is where it gets really weird because a lot of these pieces are main colors. Maybe I don't know. It's really hard to find out what's the off color for cloth armor sets so just be aware i'm just going to point the colors and if you know just let me know now the first color we're going to be looking at is red there is two variations of this red there is the traditional cloth which has almost like a linen i want to say texture like it's a very thin te like a stringy texture on the pants and then we have a leather red which is really cool the other color is going to be black for the cloth and also has the same texture as the red uh, cloth. But then we have a brown leather as well. This one is pretty cool because this one comes in in a lot of variations. So you have the traditional like just brown uh, leather and then you have like a more distressed leather and then you have like even more variations within that. I'll show you guys a quick picture of my hunter wearing like different cloth pieces. So that way you guys can understand what I mean. But essentially you guys can see that there is black, but there's also a very deep black on the helmet. I uh, specifically for the mask. You can see that there's a more distressed black on the arms. And then for the chest, you can see the very rich leather brown. And then the pants, that is actually the distressed leather pants, because if we go in closer, you guys can actually see that it does have the leather pattern to it. So there is a lot of differences with the cloth armor, and I wanted to be thorough because there is a lot to this. There is a lot. And there's other variations of this where like this chest piece has this really weird like metallic color, but it's cloth. So that's all I really wanted to say about that. Last but not least, we're going to be looking at the glows, which it's just two. The first one is like a, an orange slash red. It, it changes here and there and then a white. That's really it. Now, I didn't want to get too into it because, again, there's a lot more colors to shaders than just the things I've, I've told you. But these are the main colors that you're going to want to focus on. And that's really it. 
let me know what you guys think in the comments below i really like this shader i like the colors i like the fact that we have a wood texture for the armor pieces and even the gold sheen is really cool i think the green the the green plate color is a little weird but other than that every piece is super dope so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below as for the example set, I really like the fact that we ended up getting a wooden texture for this, which is why I started to lean into it for pretty much everyone. And to start off, we're going to go with the Hunter. I decided to go for a Japanese inspired look. I really like this set. This is a variation of a set that I made like a few months back, if I remember correctly. For the helmet, we're using the Shadows Mask helmet. It's one of my favorite helmets in the game, like by far. It's so cool. Just be aware that the glow on the eyes are a little uh, bad, I guess you would say, because it actually doesn't glow the, the all the way it, on the sides of the eyes. It's like a little dark. So just be just be aware of that for the arms we're using the iron semiki grips, because it's one of the best Japanese pieces you can use if you're going for a Japanese look, specifically if you're using the six coyote chest piece. The Iron Simiki grips are going to be really good for this set. The Iron Fellowship strides are the boots that I'm using. And this one is pretty funny because you could use the Iron Fellowship strides or you could use the Forbidden Visage, which I think are really good as well. The reason I'm going for the Iron Fellowship is because there's not a lot of cloth to this set and the Forbidden Visage has a lot of cloth to it. So I just decided that more armor would probably be better to even out everything else for the mark for the cloak we're using the mantle of effort specifically for the fur honestly i think that's the best portion of it but i also like the fact that it does make the helmet look a lot skinnier than it is uh i don't know why i like it i just think that's really cool so hunters let me know what you guys think in the comments below definitely one of the best sets i've made with the six coyote but to be fair i've made so many sets with the six coyote that at this point I have so many variations and we are going to be looking at the ornament that it got. I will have videos for it because it's really good. So yeah, hunters, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And for the Titans, you guys, I actually like the set so much. It was, it's really hard to pick a favorite from these sets because I think the hunter looks really, really cool, but I think the Titan also looks really, really cool. So for the helmet, we're using the Sunstead helm. It's one of my favorite helmets in the game for the Titans, and it is a bit of a crutch, but what's even funnier is the bigger crutch, which is the Devastation Complex chess piece is my crutch. Like I crutch on this helm or this chess piece so much, but in this situation, I think it's fair because I'm trying to pair it with the Ursa Furiosa specifically without the ornament, just the basic look of it, because I want the fur. I want fur for this. I don't know what it is, but for me, when I saw the chest piece with the like pure wooden plate, immediately I was like, I want to put as much fur on this bitch as I can, which is why I'm using Ursa Furiosa's. For the boots, we're using the Neeming Greaves specifically because I want to have a little bit more ornamentation to the boots because the helmet is so so much so ornamental that I was like, I have to have some ornaments at the bottom at least. And for the mark, we're using the Starfarer's mark. Uh, unfortunately, I won't have a video for the Starfarer's mark specifically because I feel like it's not fair to the Warlocks because the Warlocks bond is usually not that great. So it would have been a really boring video for the Warlocks themselves, but for the Hunter and Titan, I think that would have been really good videos. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I love it because it feels like you're like a bear. You're a bear. And I think if I had paired this with, I don't know, if we had a bear head helmet, I think that would have been even better. Hopefully in the future, we get like a bear helmet or something, because at that point I would immediately put that on instead. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And last but not least, we have the warlock switch. This is pretty funny because I ended up going with a contrast of like, there's wood armor pieces, but I'm using fire in there. So I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to do it for all the classes, but I decided not to because I think having only one of them do that is a much better idea than everyone doing it. Because obviously the hunter had the Japanese feel for it. The Titans had honestly a bear. Like that's the only thing I really thought of is like, I want it to look like a bear. Like I want it to be bulky and like, ornamental too but bulky and berry so 
man, I really want a bear helmet for that set. So Warlocks, let's get into it. Pathfinder's visor for the helmet, specifically because the Whispered Sheen has two glows, like I said. Uh, it has the orange glow, but it also does have a white glow to it, which is unfortunate because there is another helmet that I wanted to pair it with. But again, it gives off a white glow instead, which is the Celestial cover. I wanted to go for the Celestial cover instead, but unfortunately it has a white glow to it and i was just like never mind i'll just not use that and obviously i went with the pathfinder's visor because that was the closest thing i could get don't get it twisted you could obviously use like the dawn singer hood which i would probably not tell you to use it because i don't think warlocks when they use a helmet and the chest piece of the same piece it's not good because it just looks like you're wearing that whole set unfortunately so but if you don't care i mean by all means do that that looks really cool any of the solstice stuff is going to look good on this uh aside from the specific one from C the celestine hood i think that's the only one that won't look good with it because unfortunately the celestine hood has a a slighter variation of color so just be aware of that for the arms we're using the sun bracers with no ornaments because i like the fact that the glow is super dark and orange because if you use the Eyes of Mercury, it's a blue instead, and it's just, it won't be good. For the chest piece, we're using Donsinger robes, because again, I, lo I love the fact that like, the Donsinger chest piece has so much fire in there. The chest piece in the middle has fire. The armor pieces on the shoulders have fire coming out. And I just found it funny that like, the the contrast of like, there's fire, but this is wood armor. I just, I just, for me, that was enough to be like, yeah, I'm going to use that. For the boots, we're using the candescent boots specifically because I like the ornamentation on it. That's really it. If you had the the glowing version of it from Eververse, I think that this would be a lot better. To be fair, though, I haven't seen it in a while, so I don't know if it's good or bad because I actually skipped out on that armor set because I thought it was terrible. For the bond, we're actually using the Solstice Bond Resplendent because I like the orange glow that it gives off. And that's pretty much it. I honestly think the helmet is the only weak portion of this. If you can find something that has a little bit more ornament, ornamental look to it and has an orange glow, I think that would be much better overall. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really like how these sets came out. Uh, I would probably tell you that it's, it's so hard to choose a favorite. I was about to say this one's my favorite, but I was just thinking about it. I can't give you a favorite. I think the Hunter and Titan look so fucking good together that it's just so hard to pick a favorite. The Warlock, not saying I don't like it. I actually love it. I just think if you switch the helmet to the Nemean, Hunt, the Nemean helmet, I think the Nemean helmet would be a lot better. Uh, the boots, I like the boots, but at the same time, I don't like the fact that the candescent boots have this discoloration on the hips and the, and the thighs. Other than that, I think it would have been better. Overall, let me know what you guys think. If, are you guys going to be rocking some of these? I would love to know. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all the links in the description below. I thank you all for coming to this point. I'll see you all later.